Studio. Check. We are live on air. You are listening to the In Fact Blessing the Airway. Take the journey into the world of sports, news, entertainment, while embracing the hottest beats on the planet. Rocking the mind, body, and soul. With energy, electricity, and a splash of controversy. Now, without further ado, it's our pleasure to bring to you the biggest show in the world. The biggest show in the world. The biggest show in the world. The SBTV Nation. The guy that has Kansas to win the NCAA tournament. Uh, dream. Brutal night for your boy Bill, with the Kansas Bill Jayhawks. Self's, Bill Self's cousin. <laughs> Mad <Matt Axe. laughs> Brutal night, man. Oh, they got pounded. And you know what, Dream? I only got to watch half the game. I expressed this to the nation the other day. I was dragged to a bar with no TV to hang out with my brides friends friends that night how awesome is that for me you love doing stuff like that though, so that big ups to your bride for doing their usual of course you, and of big course. Ups getting to played you just being run with your boy bill self trust me you miss nothing uh as you would have just been i great for most of the game yeah probably it's probably better off that i didn't watch it because i was watching as the first half bill- i was pissed as if your brackets weren't already busted up enough, Big Bill went in and busted up the rest uh, as a lot has gone down. And, you know, prior to that, um, the the ever so friendly Mad Hat was just hitting me up, telling me how what, what happened to me and Dizzle during the tournament and how we always seem to not do well. Meanwhile, we just overtook him in the tournament. Yeah, well, we'll have the conversation when Gonzaga moves to the championship game because, you know what, and Dream, you know what's crazy? Here, here's, the, here's the sick part about this whole thing is that I actually had written down on a piece of paper Marquette, South Carolina, the winner of that was going to be the one I was going to do a rolling future on. And I made a mistake because I looked at the paper and I chose Marquette and I did not get South Carolina. I got Marquette instead. And I would have been up huge right now with South Carolina. Oh, I'm so mad about that. You sound like the, the VIP pack. That sounds like the yeah. VIP package. <laughs> uh, the people have just got the regular package, but the VIP package, PIP package is South Carolina and Marquette. Oh my god, I know. Brutal. But you know what? I was able to I was able to cash pretty well with Xavier for a couple of games, so that worked out pretty good. And I, I pulled off of them for the Gonzaga game just because obviously, you know, I'm high on Gonzaga. So Dream, you know what? Hey, listen, the Zags are in the final four, bro. We talked about them. You guys all thought they were overrated. Listen, defense wins championships. No, I no, I am not gonna even go there because they didn't I, I thought but they were overrated, but but didn't get to play the teams that I wanted them to play. I did have Gonzaga playing. I did have them at originally getting beat by, uh, in one of the brackets, getting beat by Notre Dame. But ultimately, it was going to be Arizona because I didn't think that they matched up against Arizona very well. I still don't. They got a. They got you know. They got handed a couple of gifts because a couple of teams that I expected to be. You know, around late, just weren't there, Arizona being one of them. But I'll tell you what, the one team that I have talked about being there, that I picked to win the national championship this season, is still there. And hats off, stand up North Carolina Tar Heel Nation as the North Carolina Tar Heels did their thing yesterday and beat Kentucky in what was an excellent, excellent game. Uh, If you played the spread, I feel bad because North Carolina should have covered the spread. They gave up that three-pointer, which killed them at the very end. Yep. They gave up the three-pointer, and there was no reason for that three-pointer to be given up. But, hey, that's how the cookie crumbled. And North Carolina is still alive. And next week, uh, if I can get North Carolina to move forward and win it, I will uh, I will have had a, a pretty a decent success in this NCAA bracket tournament. Well, there's a lot of people that had North Carolina dream. That's the oh, problem. Oh, no, no doubt. You know, so you got to actually do better than them in the next couple of games. I remember, but. as I remember, 
No, no. As I remember, though, a while ago, I heard something like, I don't really know what you see in this North Carolina team. I don't. I still don't. They don't do it for me. I'm sorry. It's just, right. you know what, the defense in the clutch when the game's winding down to the end, that's what's doing it for them right now. But they shouldn't even be there. Except, hey, Arkansas should be there right now, Dream. Well, uh, stop. <laughs> stop. Good. By the way, evening. by the way, who shouldn't be there? Is it there? And it's Kansas. Ah, uh, well, <laughs> Oregon smashed the hell out of them. And Oregon, you know what it was, Dream, is that the kid Jackson got two fouls like in two minutes, the first two minutes of the game. And they had to sit them. And I think that kind of threw them off a little bit. I don't think so. Why? I think, or I, I just, you know what? It's one of those situations, and I say it all the time with some of these teams. I've seen some of these teams come in, and they're just flat. Yeah, yeah. And Kansas, his last performance was so dominant. Remember, I talked about it on the show because that, to me, was the was the best performance that I had seen out of any team in the tournament up sure. till then. Yeah. Okay, but I remember I said to you, I hope that they haven't, you know, you used up all the magic on this game. And, you know, to me, Kansas just looks so flat, like the energy wasn't there. You know, the shots weren't falling. I don't know. Did you did you feel like you only saw half of the game? But I just didn't feel like the same type of energy and intensity that they had in the game prior. No, I think I think it actually got them, you know, expanded their heads a little bit. That, okay. that Purdue victory, and they just thought that they could coast. And you know what? If it ended up going into a track meet with Oregon, you know, Dan and I talked about that being a problem, you know? Um, but sure enough, I thought Kansas could catch him, but I, I'm glad I didn't watch the game because, you know what, Dream, if I was watching that game, I would have been furious. Uh, one game that did really piss me off was the Florida-Wisconsin game. After you left the bar and I tied the game. Yes. Oh, dude. What a brutal way to go down. I mean, I pushed because I had Wisconsin plus one, but four seconds left, they hit a buzzer beater and win the game. Oh, what a way to That's, push instead of I, win. I can't stand. You know, I hate that a team goes to, gets it to overtime just to lose anyway. Oh, I know. That's, that's the so worst. annoying to me, and I, and I know that's not obviously the, the mindset of them, but that's such annoying as a as a you know as as a gambler, wager, or whatever. You get that game, you're able to push that game into overtime, thinking you got some life, only to see them losing overtime. Uh, it's heartbreaking. You know, I didn't like. You know, I didn't like Wisconsin. I didn't like. I can't say enough about Florida's coaching staff. I've talked about it for most of the season, especially after their center went down. I like the Florida program. And I honestly don't know that South Carolina's beating them. South Carolina is in the Final Four, Dream. Yeah. There was a game yesterday. And South Carolina plays Gonzaga now. Where you been, Playa? My bad. They play Gonzaga. That's right. Like, what, am I, what am I talking about? You're right. What the hell are you no, talking I, about? I, 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 I'm sorry. I don't know that South Carolina's beating Gonzaga is what I meant. I'm sorry. So you got, you got Gonzaga in the championship game. Wow. I know Gonzaga's in the championship game, and, and but you know getting what, so, beat by North Carolina. Oh, yeah, you think so, huh? You, you think yeah, it might? I, yeah, well, I don't know about that one. I picked North Carolina to win the tournament. I know you did. I got multiple, multiple, multiple brackets <laughs> filled out with North Carolina winning. I think you and everybody in the country does. No, so, by the way, no, because everybody in the country, well, you're one of the people in the country, and you had Kansas. I did. Dr. Dan is one of the people in the country, and he had UCLA. So, by the way, and based on our SBTV contest here, not a lot of everybody in the country did pick North Carolina. <laughs> well, you know what? <laughs> so don't, try to, don't try to discredit your oh, boy. Oh, I gotta discredit you, Dream. Dream, make America great again. That's all I gotta say about Matter that. Matter of fact, I'm sitting, here, I'm sitting here looking at the top five, and Rigetti has North Carolina, and then after that, it's Nova, Nova, Duke, Duke, and then finally Gonzaga. Even my man Deeks Picks, who was on the Gonzaga bandwagon all season, picked Villanova. Got it. Wow, all these big teams went down, and uh, the Oregon Ducks, do they got a shot? I don't think so. I, I, mean, I, I mean, of course they got a shot, because anything can happen. North Carolina, the athleticism, the size. The only thing about North Carolina, though, they do bother me at the end. Some of their in-game decisions. Yesterday, Meeks inbounding the ball. 
I mean, come on, dude. Like, this is what I mean about Roy Williams that, that irks the crap out of me. You don't know that Meeks, like, you're going to put Meeks in a decision-making situation with the game on the line like that, knowing that I don't know that he's the, the, the sharpest knife in the, knife in the drawer to make a decision. Did you see him? I did not see that game. Oh, I saw the game itself, but I did not see, like, the last five minutes. I was bouncing back and forth in between rooms. But um, I did see the shot at the end, though. The, the, the shot was good, yeah. but prior to that, North Carolina is up three to six. I can't remember what it was. They call the timeout. They get the ball. They play, they, they make the in-game pass plan. Then they put Meeks on the baseline to throw the ball in. He gets a five-second violation and gives the ball back to Kentucky. Lovely. The game's on the line, and you got Meeks going in to make it. I think that's like the stupidest move. And like even even the announcer was saying, "You're gonna let Meeks take it out." <laughs> exactly. Well, Dream, good evening to everybody. We are the SBTV Nation. We are live on Twitter right now, and we are at a new time here. We're doing a little six o'clock action, Dream, and you know what? It works out pretty well because now you've had all day to look at the games. Now you know no, what the injuries it, it, are. It doesn't work out well for me. I'm not. I, uh, it's not. I, I'm going I'm to need an adjustment. You need an adjustment. <laughs> I need an adjustment. Well, the- I don't have the same kind of. I don't have the same kind of energy in the morning like I have at night. Like I've been through a whole day now of dealing with problems. Yep. <laughs> I got the idea. All right. I had a whole day of dealing with problems. Got my mail. Bills just rolled in. Of course. I'm looking at some stuff that I'm like, Yo, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> You know how you get their bills? Oh, what is yeah. this? Yep, of course. <laughs> like uh, air tax. Connecticut air tax. We're going to just tax you for breathing up in this piece. Yeah, right. I'm getting some bills in here to make no sense to be trying to figure it out. So, uh, no, nah, it's going to take some getting used to this night slot. I, I did enjoy the mornings. It was something that I could – I was fresh. I was energized. Had some thoughts about what happened the previous night before. Able to kind of get them off my checks. Now it takes a little bit of reflection. Uh, speaking of which – I do know that Dr. Dizzle did the MLB show on, yeah. on Sunday. Yes, sir. And I'm going to take a wild guess that he picked the Mets. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's beating that rotation, Dream. Oh, Nobody's God. beating Met that Mets fans <laughs> will go down to infamy as saying the same stuff year in and year out. Yes, sir. I got the same friends who like the Mets, just like Dr. Dan. <laughs> and it's a heart play. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what you say. It's a hard play. Dang. I don't care because there's a Met factor. There is a Met factor. Okay? There's a Met factor. No matter how dope the rotation is, okay? They could have Sandy Koufax, Ron Guidry, and Dennis Eckersley. <laughs> all right? Wow. They'll find a way to screw that up. <laughs> I know, Dream. Well, you know what? He's, he, he gave us all the win totals of all the teams, all 30 to be exact so guys if you go back to yesterday's show that was sunday the 26th that was when we go through all of major league baseball and you know what a lot of people are excited for baseball dream because they're gamblers and uh, they're the basketball's a wrap now (laughs) brackets got busted and now they're ready to move on to the next fix right on (laughs) next fix exactly it's like it's like you ran out of heroin at the party and somebody shows up with a bag of weed (laughs) (laughs) wow nice you guys gonna give me a little rare form tonight in the evening. It's gonna be a little bit of dream after dark right now. No I'm gonna doubt. Have to share some deep dark secrets with y'all. <laughs> dream the Las Vegas Raiders is gonna happen. They were voted thirty-one to one to move to Las Vegas to Sin City, brother. Absolutely hate it. Why do you hate it? Cause I told you how I feel, man. The Raiders got no business moving, dude. Listen, the. the the Oakland Raiders, first of all, they took first they took the Raiders out. The Raiders moved twice now already. Yeah. All right? People have been following the Raiders, you know, second, third generations. They've got an incredible fan base. They get sure. dressed up in the Darth Vader costumes. Raider Nation is incredible. The, the outpouring and the, 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 the showing that they come. For its team that's up until last season has stunk. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. So you, so you pay them back. That's how you. That's how you pay back the fan, the fan base, and the, and the community for supporting your team. 
oh, we're gonna move to Las Vegas because we want to go, we want to go eat off of that market for a while until that ticket sales aren't good, and then we'll go move somewhere else. I mean, come on. Well, I'm sick of this with the NFL teams. Stay where you are. If you stink, it's unfortunate. Build up your team where you're at. Stay where you're at. Because if you got fans following you when you stink, they want to be there when you're good too, and they should be a part of it. So now if the Raiders are real dope next year, L.A. gets to go through. L- Las Vegas gets an awesome team. Well, it won't be next year because they're not going next year anyway. But when they get there, let's say they're at the top of their level. Because right now, the Raiders got a lot of pieces to the puzzle to go very far. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Quarterback's pretty, you know, barring him coming back with, you know, with any setbacks. But quarterback's rather relatively young. They got a, a decently young team. It's put together the right way. Coaching staff is decent. So there's going to be some success over the next few years. So now Las Vegas gets to just sit through great winning years. It's not like they get to go back in the bus like the poor fans in Cleveland. Yeah. Well, you know what? Maybe they'll win the championship, the Las Vegas Raiders, the first year. Boom. And uh, I loved it. Out of all teams to complain and not vote, do you know who to put the one vote in if not for them to go? Who? Your team, the Miami Dolphins. Really? Miami Dolphins were the one team that voted against them moving and they said that they felt that every option should be exhausted before a team is allowed to move. Makes a lot of sense. I get it. But you know what? Hey, 31 teams, uh, they, they want to see it. So, hey, it is what it is. I know it gets super hot there around September, though. So that's going to be a little challenging playing outside. But, you know, it is what it is, Dream. So, no, hot, no warmer than Arizona. Good point. Very good point. So anyway, guys, unless you got any more NFL news before we kick it over to the NBA, Dream, there's a lot of games going on in the next Got a little bit of games going on this next this evening. I mean, I wouldn't say it's a lot. You only got, what is it, six? Six well, games you know, tonight. We got, uh, we got something interesting that's coming up. And I want to have a conversation about it because I think right. a lot of people are going to be on the Spurs this evening. Okay. And I'm looking at it here, and the Spurs are giving five and a half to the Cleveland Cavs. Do you think the Cleveland Cavs get murdered or be, yep. lose a close game? <laughs> yep. You think so, huh? Knowing the Cavs, yep, they probably get murdered. <laughs> really? So would you be inclined to take the five and a half point spread, Dream? Or are you looking more of a money line situation? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't touch the game. I don't like the game at all. I don't. I don't like the. I don't. I don't know what to. I don't like the game because I don't know where Cleveland's at. I. I still. I still think that Cleveland has a lot of potential and they are a good team. I just don't know mentally. I. I think physically they're fine. Mentally, I don't know where they're at. I mean, I know where LeBron is. Yeah. But the rest of the cast and characters around him, I don't know where they're at. I don't know. If it's a if it's a party thing with them, if it's a you know not being able to prepare appropriately for travel, I don't know what their issue is. Is it the coaching staff because they got a, a brand new young coach who had all the success in the world winning last year? Mm-hmm. Does he really know what he's doing in preparation? You know, there's a lot of X factors about this Cleveland Cavalier team that we need to take into consideration. And then you go over to Pop side, you know what you're getting out of them for the most part, but the question is. How healthy is Aldridge? Yep. You know, how is that condition working for him mentally and physically? You know, that that's a big question there. I, I'm pretty sure Pop's not going to rest anybody with all the with all the criticism about the resting right now. Yeah, but, right. hey, who would put that past Pop, though? Yeah, exactly. Well, the only thing that Spurs have going right now, as far as injuries are concerned, is uh, Danny Green is day-to-day. But other than that, they have, they're completely healthy. I don't. I haven't seen the starting lineup yet, yep. but I'm going to pull that up in a minute so we can have a conversation about it. But you know what? I think the Spurs are going to come to play. To be honest with you, and you know oh, that the Spurs come to play. Even if the Spurs don't bring their starters, they come to play. I mean, you. Don't, I don't think you ever have to worry about the Spurs come to play. The X factor for me is definitely the Cleveland Cavaliers, and I don't know. You know, the other part of the Cavaliers have they been playing possum? Maybe. Are they going to turn it on tonight? Because it's a national, you know, it's a televised game. They're on TNT tonight. Are they going to try to shine tonight now? You know what? I don't. I wouldn't be surprised if they did, Dream. You know what I'm saying? 
I mean, that, I, I'm right there with you. You know, maybe they go out and try to make a statement to the West this evening, you know, and go out. Maybe they've been playing possum. And, yeah, they've been coming to the games, but just going through the motions, not really turning up in a notch, not really dialing into that playoff intensity. But maybe tonight, because they're traveling to San Antonio and they're going to run full full boat ahead. Maybe they had the team meeting. Maybe the players did that. Oh, they had they had a closed door uh, locker room session with just LeBron and you know the rest of the crew. Um, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Probably like to have those. Yeah. And maybe they're deciding that they're going to just turn up the intensity tonight. See, all that's a lot of X factors for me. So that's why I don't like the game. Well, the Spurs failed to cover the other night when they played the New York Knickerbockers in San Antonio. They were given a lot of points, Dream, and they only won by eight. And when you take a look at the starting lineups tonight, you got Tony Parker, Danny Green, Kawhi Leonard, LaMarcus Aldridge, and Dwayne Dedman are all going to be in the lineup tonight. Chauncey um, just said Kawhi Leonard's out. He's out. I'm reading something different, brother. I don't know where you're finding that, but if you can, uh, if you can let me know, that would be something really interesting because that is music to my boy's ears, Dream. You know LeBron hates getting defended by Kawhi. Oh, yeah, somebody else, somebody else just hit me up with it, too. He's out. Well, which one are you, what, what I got, are you looking at? I got, I got a couple people on Twitter that just hit me up that said that Kawhi Leonard is out this evening, Dream. And the, so, and the spread's only minus five and a half, Five huh? and a half, brother. Hmm. hmm. Might be something to take a little peek at. Take the live dog, son. Go get on it. Not Go get me. it. Go get it. Maybe we'll take a shot. What is the over and under on that the game? Under got? over on that game is two eleven and a half, brother. Hmm. I can tell you this much that the overs have been coming to form a lot with these teams. Eleven out of the last fifteen Cleveland games on the road, four of their last five games, and five of the last seven San Antonio games have all gone over. Been a lot of points scored in these uh with between these two teams. All right, so right now I'm looking at ESPN. And Kawhi Leonard is out on the floor at warm-ups. Okay. So, I, I don't like... <laughs> I'm not sure what you guys are talking about, but I think you might want to check and make sure because it's showing him Kawhi Leonard is one of the first on the floor for warm-ups. Uh, McMahon, Tim McMahon, one of the staff writers, and there's a small little bit of footage of him shooting jumpers. So, uh, please, I, I, I don't know. We need to get... Let me look at my injury report and see what it says. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, right now I'm looking at the lineups, and they have them in the lineup. So, guys, you might be missing something here. It says Kawhi. I, I'm looking at another one here. I got a um, like a beat writer that says Kawhi Leonard getting ready for tonight's game against the Cavs. You guys may be yeah. wrong on that. Because yeah, I see. Pull back, go look, pull back. I, I, I tried to <laughs> be fired up in the game. And I see Kawhi out there yeah, right. shooting threes as soon as I pull my play. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, go if he wasn't on, in, I, this would be more of a pick em if he wasn't in, guys. I, I Listen, I appreciate you trying to save us here, but he's on the court shooting right now. He's doing warm-ups Joe right now. Joe said he was upgraded to probable. I'm sh- I got pictures of him shooting jumpers right now <laughs> with brand-new Jordans. They're, they're promoting that he got brand-new Jordans. They're, they're, they're gray and white, and they look kind of dope. So uh, uh, we're going to have to kick that information to the curb. I believe Kawhi Leonard is playing this evening. I don't, see, I don't think he would miss this game for anything tonight, Dream. Dream, do we, do we grow enough balls to take the Toronto Crafters this evening? No, I don't. Uh-uh. Facing the Orlando Magic? No, I'm good with No? That. You're good with them? I don't. Dude, you know what? The Raptors this season, their inconsistency for me – and I, I, the, the few, you know, last season I won a lot with them. I played with them a lot. Yep. Then in the playoffs, like I was, I was, I completely abandoned them after, you know, really seriously watching them. And I hated their their game style. This year they've been they've been up and down in the mess in a couple of spots that I tried to give them a shot. Yep. I got punched in the face. Um, now the magic, the magic don't scare you by any stretch of the imagination. But no, I'm not trying to get involved with that that raptor that Raptor team tonight. That might be a pretty good money line situation. I can't see them losing to the Orlando. The Orlando Magic are brutal, man. Brutal! 13, 13 and 23 20, on the road. I know, and the Crafters but, are 24 and 11 at home, and, you know, 24 and 12 at home. Excuse me, guys. Um, you know, but I'm looking at it. I, I, I lost with the Atlanta Hawks the other night, Dream. 
Yeah, I'm aware. Of it. After I told you, I don't know why you would get involved. In yeah, that. I did. I lost with them, but uh, that might be a pretty interesting money line situation, guys. Along, dream. What about the home team underdog on prime time being the New York Knickerbockers kid? Kid, get you some get of that. Bet the Knicks. If Steve Wynn walked in here and said, "Listen, I'm going to give you a hundred thousand dollars." <laughs> Yeah. If you bet the Knicks, I'd be like, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 exactly. So the New York Knicks, believe it or not, Dream, as bad as they are, yes. in the last six games, they're 4-2 and two against the spread. That means they're losing their games, but they're getting too many points. So that's something to take a look at, guys. Um, the Detroit... One and a half tonight. <laughs> one and a half points tonight. So basically, it's got to be a, a win or a loss here. Uh, Detroit Pistons are one and six against the spread in the last seven, and one and six straight up in those last seven as well. You know what, Dream? I think the Knicks are going to come out and win the game tonight, brother. I have a really strong suspicion that that's going to happen because this is one of those like rare occasions where they actually have a chance. I wouldn't be surprised if they did, to be honest with you. But I know you're not getting involved in that. I'm not. But yours truly may. But you know what I'm looking at, though? That under over 207? Is it that a little heavy? Uh, No, not really. I mean, you know, I, I've seen the Knicks shoot the lights out at times when they wanted to. Damn, and when you, was that at? <laughs> <laughs> at times, very few and far between. But Dream, when did you see the four of the last the four of the last five. I saw Persingas nailing threes the other night. Oh, I forgot. It was last week one time. I saw Persingas going should, bananas. You should have filmed it. And yeah, sent no it doubt. To, um, Ripley. <laughs> the New York Knicks, Dream, they score 105 points a game and they give up 108. Okay, so it's dead on. Yeah, so it's right. It's like right there. So, on, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I, I I recommend you stay away from that person. Yeah, no, I'm not touching. Uh, no, pulling up the next one. Nowhere near mixed games. Uh, what about this one? I like this one. The Utah Jazz hosting the New Orleans Pelicans. The Jazz are minus six and a half under over of one ninety nine. Kind of like a money line situation here with the Utah Jazz. Any thoughts? Well, I don't like the Pelicans, and even though they got boogie because everybody got excited about that, and now we've been very quiet about that not really being all that successful. Uh, as they are twelve and twenty-four on the road, you know, it, I don't like this Pelicans team. I don't. They never did anything for me. I think Anthony Davis, good player, but overrated in my opinion. Mm-hmm. That's my opinion. I agree. Um, I, I don't like them. I have not seen enough of the Jazz. I know you talk about them quite a bit. I know. Watching them, you know, winning. I, I've seen them. I know they win games. They're 44 and 29. I know they're excellent at home, 24 and 12. I do know they play good defense really? only because you talk about them for the most part. Mm-hmm. I haven't really seen a whole hell of a lot of them play. I don't know. What, what, I, I don't know who they're, who's their guys. I know Gordon Hayward. So, but yeah, they like, got who a, else they, do they got? They got a pretty good roster. I mean, and they're a very okay. young team dream. You know, when you, okay. when you look at it, when you go up and down, you know, the body of work that they've done. I mean, you know, they got George Hill over there. They got Joe Johnson, the guy that hits the threes at the ends of the game. You know that. That's a small forward. I mean, yeah, listen. They've got, I think they have potential to win a playoff round. Like one one series in the playoffs. You know, especially if they get like a three seed. You know, three versus right. a six. I think they could beat a team like the Rockets. I think they could beat a team like the Clippers. I think they could okay. beat a team like OKC. I really do. I could see them winning one series. I can't. So I don't see the Jazz being not one of those teams though. Hat the I, Rock know, I, gets the Clippers and OKC. Yeah, man. yeah. defense. Now, you realize that you realize the Rockets are in third place, right? Third place as far as their record is concerned. Right. <sighs> Probably a four or five matchup. Then you don't give the Rockets no. I never credit. ever I, listen, ever I, and, give and the Rockets. You. Credit. I'm, I'm with you because uh, I'm I'm all, all they love I, I it's stand around and watch James Harden do layups. Yeah. I'm with you. I I see that. But the Rockets are good too. They they've been winning. I mean, at some point we got to say, hey, they're pretty good. 
Yeah, well, they are uh, playing in the West. Irvin's telling me that Gordon Hayward may not play tonight for the Jazz, so that's a well, big you guys blow are still to them. Giving us injury reports, <laughs> injury reports, and uh, big ups to my man Jonesy. He said he uh, read it somewhere and they took it off their Twitter page. So hey, listen, man, we're not mad at you. It's all good. I'm, I'm glad that you're trying to help us out from making dumb decisions with our money. He read that in this. Same thing that he read that Trump was making America great. <laughs> <laughs> and sidebar, Kawhi Leonard's not playing tonight, but he is. <laughs> Dream, he's bringing a lot of jobs. You yeah, can't approval t- rating at an all-time low, lower than any president. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that that's... Um, and that was reported by Time Magazine. Is that, so, is mean, that I, reported I guess, from the same place that said he was down in all the polls I, before I, the, I the election? Time Magazine it's fake news hat i guess tie back is these fake news fake news dream don't believe everything you read out there my man that's all i gotta say about that all right so let's move on here you got the grizzles playing the kings tonight what a nasty game that is huh very nasty matchup Ooh. grizzles and the kings i'm not listen i could be talked into possibly possibly a cleveland cavaliers toronto raptors money line park Ooh, that probably pays dope I could possibly be talked into that. Get some jazz uh, in That's the too. only that right there is my only option, and I do have a hockey. I do have a hockey option as well oh. to add to that for a three teamer. Oh, but that would be it. <laughs> Get some hockey, son. I am getting some. Get hockey. some hockey. All right, so we're pulling up. I mean, I know the Sharks aren't playing tonight, Dream. So I don't know what you're gonna do, but. All right, let's pull it up. Let's let's go right into the hockey and have a conversation, guys. So this is pretty cool that we actually have lines on all the games now, and we have who's playing and who's not playing and all that good jazz going on. I like here. to do it in the morning because we look, we just look that much doper, though. Yeah. But we without any information, and we were still picking them right. Yeah, right on. Yeah, right? Right? Damn. No doubt. I don't know. Anyway, as far as the hockey's going tonight, guys, Oh, the, 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 look, the San Jose Sharks have been punching me in the face. They got goalie issues. That's the first problem with them. The rest of it, I don't know. Something happened after after the, the All-Star break. Guys must have started dating guys as girls, whatever have you. But anyway, as far as the hockey's concerned, the Calgary Flames, the Flames are who I like tonight because we've had a lot of success picking on the Colorado Avalanche. And the Al- Colorado Avalanche do not disappoint when it comes to losing. They lose well. Calgary Flames are to play tonight as far as I'm concerned in hockey, and that would be it. All right. Well, that's minus 300, dude. They ain't making no money there. You're going to have to put that, with, put that with the Crafters. Yeah, put some stuff. What's that? You got to put it with some stuff. You do. Looks like 99% of the money is on the Calgary Flames, Dream. You're right there with the public, so you better watch out. Oh, yeah. I'm Vegas, okay. Vegas know. knows yeah. all, Dream. Because of me and the five other people from Calgary that are betting the game. <laughs> <laughs> right on. The public, the public's on the flame. is dreaming five people from the SPTV Nation. <laughs> We're the public, gang. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Six deep. Six deep, Dream. All the money is on the Calgary Flames tonight. So you got a couple of other big matchups here. You've got the, uh, well, this uh, a lopsided matchup. As you got the Blues hosting the Coyotes. Minus 270, brother. Surprised you didn't jump on that one, too. No, I, I listen. I, I'm about, I, I like semi-quality squads. I First of all, it's it's not only about the, the Avalanche who stink, which I've been all over all season. It is also about the Flames, who are another undercover little dark horse team that's, that's played some really good hockey. Uh, they've got great power play kills. They're physical. You know, goalie play has been kind of solid out of them, not un- unlike what's going on in San Jose. I don't, man, San Jose's got pro- I thought San Jose had a shot at maybe getting a Stanley Cup. Now, I don't even know if they should even make the damn playoffs. And almost everybody in hockey gets to go to the playoffs. No doubt. I hear you. So, dude, listen, I mean, you know, we got NBA, we got NHL. I mean, that's pretty much all we have. You know, they have not posted the WrestleMania odds yet. Still waiting for that. Thank God. I'm waiting to get involved with that. And, you know, hey, it is what it is. So we'll keep it moving and going from there unless you got anything else, brother. 
We got nothing else. We got the fantasy draft going on tonight with Dr. Dan and the crew. Um, so it, needless to say, he'll pick all Mets. Yes. Him and Ir- him and Irvin will be in a dog fight for all the Met players. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Well, good luck to you on that one. What is that? How, how yeah, long of a know, process is that? Like an hour process? Two hours? I, I, I don't know how I got involved in it. I'm, pu- I'm probably gonna have to put mine on auto draft and just let the computer go ham. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go to the gym. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Because I haven't gotten my gym in yet, and the gym is very important. But uh, I, I, I will, I will pre, I will preset my guys up for for, for, for the fantasy draft. <laughs> there you go, man. That's funny. I'll let the evil genius know. Well, you still got to play better than him. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. By the way, don't let me beat the evil genius in fantasy. <laughs> If you beat the evil genius in fantasy baseball, then you're never going to let him live that down. I will never. So, Dan, I'm telling you, it, it is on and popping for you this evening. <laughs> you got that, you got only do you got to worry about the Mets this season winning the whole thing, which I'm going to get on your case about probably mid-July <laughs> when it all starts going right down the drain. And then you got me in this fantasy league that I will be paying as much attention to it as – Dream, the dark night will save all. The dark year. night will save all. <laughs> all right, guys. Hey, listen, great show today. That's going to do it for us. And uh, it's nice having all the point spreads up, Dream, and having all the injuries and all that good stuff and pro- reporting what's out there as far as plays are concerned and what the odds are and all that good stuff. So, my man, what do you got to do to close out of here? Well, listen, I want to thank everybody that got down with us at night. We're working on the night thing. It's going to be a little bit of a work work in progress, uh, but it will get probably better as I get a little bit more acclimated and familiar with being on at night because it's just a different time for me, kind of different time zone. I mean, we did do this on Friday nights uh, when we were on Ralph Cooper's, but I was all amped because it was Friday. Yep. So... I got to admit to you, my energy today hasn't been quite the same. I do have a bill upstairs that I got to try to figure out what the hell it is. Uh, Jim Rome is a douche. I want to thank him out there. Vegas Girl 92661 out there. T-Mac, I know you don't like the new hours, brother, but hey, we, we can't make everybody happy. Some people love it. Some people hate it. We were on the mornings forever. Yes. Um, I, I happen to... I like the morning as well, but we needed to make some changes, so we're shaking it up a bit. Um, so it is what it is. I know you can't get to us all the time, but when you can, you can. And when you can't, you can't. We understand, brother. Arizona Charlie, welcome to the party. Good to see you out there. Benjamin Rowe as well. G. Rose, Derry Richard, JDH24, KMVU, Vegas Jack, Bang the Book, Rick Lopez, good to see you. Frank Vincolato, my man Irvin, I know you're ready to get up. Met players tonight in that draft. Cash Action Bets is out here. Thank you for retweeting the show, brother. Mario Martinez, Fast Eddie 72. Thank you all so much for retweeting us. I'm the dream. Always remember who you with. Make the most of each and every day because you cannot get this time back. Yes, sir. Great show today, guys. And you know what? It's Monday, and I hope you started your week off right, and I hope you started off with your plays correct as well. Just set yourself on a smooth sailing week, guys. We love you to death. Go out there. Go easy. Make all your dreams a damn reality and get that money. Let's go. Peace.